Oh, good fish. Good fish, Brad. Don't lift, lift, lift. I'm just... trying. Ah! You all right, mate? Come on. Where's that butt gone? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. He left the straps on. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We just got Cal's McClay 651 in the water. Just waiting for him to park the uh, park the car. Yeah? He's just come down now. And uh, there's a tropical low sitting down off, um, making its way towards New Zealand at the moment. Trade winds are... Oh, it's a cycle. What is that? A cat... Cat three. three. Yeah, there's a Cat 3. Trade winds are pushing it back down towards New Zealand. So with that, it's left a bit of a low pressure system up north. So it's about six o'clock right now. We're going to head out overnight and um, drop on drop on a couple of wonky holes and see if we can't pick up a, uh, a feed for the next few nights. So yeah, stick around and um, we'll get into it. Fish this wonky. Did you on them rocks we fished the other day? Yeah. That's right. Got a few fenders here so you can. I don't know how the electric will go pulling through of us, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. I'm Shane anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I recognised that boat. Could be right, eh? What's that? So I thought I recognised that boat. <laughs> <clears throat> Right, yeah, we'll just cut up the yeah. Seen a heap of bait just sitting pretty much in the whole water column there. It's sitting on, there might be a lump or something there, they're hanging off, but you can see it come through on the sides again in the, in the nadir there. You got these little depressions out here on the left trace. So we're going to um, try and find a spot to uh, spot lock or anchor up on these and see what's chasing them. So a simple loop knot, just a granny through there, leave yourself a good amount of tail. Close that up. Bring this guy back through. Back around your mane a little bit. Get him wet. Pull that tight. There's our first loop knot. That'll go onto our sinker. And then we're just going to tie a, uh, our Pananoster. You want a nice loop. That's going to be about the size of your loop. Once you've done that, give these guys a good twist in here. About six, six to eight twists should do you. Just like that. 
and then we're going to pull this loop back through there like that. The other thing we need to do is um, we need to get them <coughs> fenders out for the boys. Again, get him wet. So no one's going to throw a bait down until we're all wet. Uh, up, the, up the front, jump up the front. Tight like oh, that. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Later on, on the drive home, I called her mama, from the paintball, and said I wasn't coming. That's a matter of that TV. And that's about that time she walked away from me. I just scored my fifth link ticket. Yeah, right. I want to go. Back onto this one. Try not to throw this shit out. Um, and he will not do it again. <clears throat> He's too rich. Yeah, while you're there, Shano. There you go. Legend. Um, hey, Bay Rad, you thirsty? Uh, yes, please. Now, guys, I know it can be quite tempting to smack a few cold ones when you're out on the water. Always remember to have a sober, licensed driver as the environment you're in can get quite dangerous very quickly and is very unpredictable, as you'll see later on in this video. Now we're done. Cheeky little Pananosti with a bit of weight on the back, uh, fishing with 100 pound main, 100 pound litre. How far back do you want to sit? I'll just give you max max chickens, brother. You're on. Let's see how we go. First drop, eh? Try and throw it up. Oh yeah. Next. It's nice being 30 meters instead of 60. Nope, that's on. Yep. I'm not really tangled with you or I've got one. Yeah, we're tangled. <laughs> yeah, we're both. Oh, B-Rad! No, no, I've been stuck the wheel. I told you to Is he still on there? Can you still feel him there? I see a weight. I don't know if it's him or the sinker. Oh, no. Yeah, he's there. He's still on there still? Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> Small mouth. A little small mouth. There we go, that's the first one, a little small mouth nanny. Good indication what we got down there. Did anyone put oil in? No. I don't think we ever did, eh? Oh, <clears throat> what do you want to do, the kebabs? Kebabs, chicken wings. Yeah, they're eating. Bro, no oil, this might be a challenge. Have you boys got any cooking oil at all? A net? No. I've got a squid jig. How big's the squid? Holy shit. Oh. You want a squid jig? I love you. A cup of cup of right? Yeah, a cup of They smell awesome. She's coming down now. Fucking hell. That's the go. Cooking in the cab. That's why we bought a cab. I'm just color shame. I said I, I don't get seasick. It's just when I eat. When I don't eat, sorry. Uh, when I eat here, I'll be fine. I'll be able to turn them bad boys over. Yeah, bro. Look at that. The mask. Uh, We're doing like snaky all the way up to our mark. Too distracted by the fine aromas coming out of the galley, mate. Yeah, yeah. Ugly <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's 
Just having a snooze, mate. Mate, yeah, I think so, eh? Little, little, uh, beers. little lie down, brother. <laughs> so Brad, um, Brad's just out the back here. He's got this glow on the dark jig. And what he can do is if you push it up to some light, it'll actually charge it up and make it glow a little bit more. It's all to do with the photons inside the, the glowingness. All right, so we've just got that one nanny on the board, that little undersized one that had to go back. So we've just motored it up to a new spot and uh, sitting in 53 and a half meters now. So we're just gonna drop down and see how we go. Bit of current. Bit of current. Bloody 9.30 at night now. How you going? We've been fishing hard since we got out and we've got nothing. Nah, good. Yeah. Good? Just meeting up with the other boys. Trying to work out a, um, a plan. Good job. Pretty hard going. Did you just catch something? Yeah, this one's shark. Oh, a shark? Yeah, nah. Pretty shit, eh? Pretty good weather. Do you reckon hit this, hit this red wonky? This red and... mark, we got red. some fish on the other day, eh? Oh, we've finally been able to bloody get one. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just bloody pulled up this gold band. You still on, Brad? Yep. So Brad's got one, I've just dealt with this gold band snapper. Brad? Oh, quick, 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 quick. Nice little gold band snapper. First fish after fishing for like four hours. So yeah, we're on the spot now. Brad's already got a uh, little... Um, nanny. Little nanny guy down there. Oh. Oh. Better wait about this one. Oh, hook up. Stay there. Double! Oh. Yeah, they're on here. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Shane has decided to wake up, mate. Nice that, <laughs> oh, you little fuck. What is that? Yeah, we'll bring it in. Nice little emperor. <laughs> Nanny? Smally. That's a good size. Nice mate. Oh good bend in him. Might need wind up yours. Want mine up? Yeah, oh, you. Oh there it is! <laughs> Brad's been dropping them all night. <laughs> You're bent up, but you're fing like pausing and they're just shaking. No, nah, I don't reckon, because every time you've dropped it, you've had load on your rod. I think you're pulling hooks. I reckon I'm pulling hooks. Mate, beautiful. Fuck, not bad in 60 meters of water. Frothing it, brother. Nice work. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Get him up, Jordan. Biggest one I've had on this road all, all day. Oh, I don't know, but she's got a bit of power about it. It's red. Red is dead. Nice little large mouth there. Oh, brother! Mine would have been bigger still. <laughs> large mouth nanny. The GoPro's on like 2%. Cal's just bought up a beautiful red. Oh, it's out of battery. Oh, big one back. Where are those pliers at? Oh, cheers. Oh, good fish. Good fish, Brad. Don't lift, lift, lift. Don't I'm trying. Don't just watch him. Oh, I'm not a fing cat. Little lift, little lift. Oh, don't rip it out. Just let him, if he's, as long as he's off the bottom. Good fish, bro. That's a good fish, brother. Two way. Woo! We got a double. We might have a f***ing three on here in a minute. Ah! You all right, mate? Come on. Where's that butt gone? It's all good. He's off the bottom now, man. So I just, Yeah, you know. sharks. Ah! 
That will be a big dog. Hey Jesse. Yo. You came to the footage when you're on the boat, bruh. Yeah, man. Get him up, big boy. Doing well, mate. Doing well. What's the colour? Yeah, because you won't be able to lift your rod, they're that big. Oh, right. So you'll think you've buckled over, but you've just got to like drop your rod, lift, drop your rod, lift. Yeah, yeah they're in flight right? They're little yeah. nibbles, man. Once you pull that tip yeah, up, you'll feel the weight. The breeze is picking up a bit. Hey, Brad. Yeah, eventually. Brad landed a red. It popped off Just the surface. Just on the back that. there. Like that would have been probably red. red. It was decent. Probably the biggest one of the night. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, hey, honestly, I reckon. Nah, it was, it, was, it was bigger than that. Circling. It back. was decent. Yeah, it was on the distance. Oh, okay. It's like the size of that outboard cowling now, but 10 meters back. This is a big. Oh, I'm sorry. You almost kneecapped me then. This is where they're living, boys! What I can live for. Yep. Grab that rod, Shane. Oh, yep. Oh! This one's big. Daddy. Hold up, bro. Hang on. Oh. We might have a double here, bro. Yours? Yeah, bro. I love this shit. The GoPro's died. It's been charging for like the last 20 minutes. We just decided to pull it off to capture whatever the Brad's got on here. Oh, you I reckon she'll be a big red, mate. Oh no! Who's the geezer? Nothing better head, mate. Nothing better than a bit of head. <laughs> be nice to have the body. Be nice to have the body attached to it, mate. A thick body. The effects. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are fairly well up at here. I can't hear ya. Need you to tell me where you are. Give me my GPS location. Well, just uh, you need to tell us what your GPS location is. Your base ready. We're gonna have. A Get the door. So just as you can see, it's um, blown up a bit. We're out wide, probably 50 miles off offshore, and um, we're only meant to come out for a few hours. But it's four in the morning at the moment now, because the fishing was that hot. Um, so we're just going to find the boys, um, try and anchor up with them, seek refuge out of this wind, and more up next to them. Maybe have a beer or two. Uh, but we did just sound up some good some good bait, so looks like we're gonna be wetting a line here on the exactly. way to the boys. It's pretty blowy, man. There's, we're not we're not we sitting on it for long. <clears throat> Should we just wind up and go find the boys? Yeah, that's what Let's do that. Looks pretty lumpy out here. She's getting a bit choppy. Yeah, we'll come alongside ya.
That dragon act, though. Huh? Yeah. We'll come up. How fast is the storm coming through? Have you got it up? Oh, there's red. There's black in there, bro. Should be right. Should be right. So we got southeasterly winds, but that front's coming from the northeast. So they're going to converge and just blow up. It's already getting pretty swampy out here. Well, when that sun comes up and it warms up, it's only going to get worse. If we were to stay out here, we'd have to push through this shit for like the next three to four hours. When we can be home and in bed in two. We'll just slowly pop back up. That's the safe bed, eh? No point staying out here just to enjoy a sunrise and then go back anyway. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it. Hey, it's um it's picking up. You can probably I don't know, look at Brad's shirt. It was dead glassy when we got out of here, but it's just one of those things that's not worth the risk. Hey, like we're an hour and a half away from the boat ramp. We don't know what this front's gonna do when it comes in, so we're just gonna um, tidy the boat up, get it ready to head back to port, and. Um, with a bit of luck, we'll get home and have a coffee and catch the sunrise. That is crazy. Finally uh, back into like partially smooth waters. First time we've been able to get above like 20 knots in a while. And uh, although I got rough, this is what we've got to knock the, uh, knock the night off with. Oh, who got the dirty Chinaman? <laughs> They're good for you. Queen. Yeah, it's right now. Can you hear the curtains fall? It is sad.